And the Philadelphia Flyers, too. Coming up next, Stan Fischler and his special guest, Islander photographer Bruce Bennett. That will follow this message. Stan Fischler here in the studio at Nassau Coliseum at the end of two periods. It's Islanders 2, Flyers 2. My guest is the Rembrandt of hockey photographers, Bruce Bennett, who is the Islanders' official photographer. We have a lot of photographers in the audience. I think a lot of them are wondering what you look for when you're sitting in the rink ready to take a hockey picture. Well, basically, we stick with the player who has the puck. Um, that's most of the time, but uh, we try to get good facial expressions, which is very, very important, um, and good action, of course, which you have to pretty much wait for, wait for the action to come to you. Uh, there's always great action in the crease, and that's a good place to focus on. Um, but facial expressions is the most important. What about your equipment? Uh, could you describe the type of camera that you use and how much it costs? Okay, well, the, the brands vary quite a bit, but this one that I use and the, the equipment that I use is Nikon equipment, uh, equipped with a motor drive, which is very important for sports photography. Um, I can take anywhere between three and five frames a second using a motor drive. And since hockey moves so quickly, it's, uh, it's really a necessary uh, item. Um, telephoto lenses, uh, this one here is a 180 millimeter lens. Uh, most of the photographers who shoot hockey use this. It's, it's good for um, in the crease, good action in there. Players are coming across the blue line. Um, and we use longer lenses also, 300 millimeter lenses to uh, get in as close as possible on the players, which is very important also. Uh, most of the time you'll see uh, a lot of pictures taken by amateurs are just too far away. They don't get in close enough and it doesn't have that impact. So we use long lenses, 180 and 300 millimeter generally. And that gets you right in there. Bruce Bennett, there are some hockey players who are more photogenic, who seem to uh, stand out more in photos than others. In your professional artistic opinion, which would you say are the three or four most photogenic players? Well, definitely uh, I was just shooting this last period here, and Bobby Clark is always, mo I would say, probably the most photogenic player in the league, uh, generally because of that, that space right between his, uh, where his front teeth should be. Uh, Guy Lafleur is terrific. Uh, Dennis Potvin, uh, there's something about the way uh, that Dennis Potvin skates that really uh, makes the photographs come out great. Uh, there's a power, there's a, a feeling of power when he skates, uh, and that always makes him look good. Uh, Wayne Gretzky also is somebody uh, who's very difficult to photograph, but uh, w you can get some really nice shots of him if, you're, if you stay with him, if you can stay with him. <laughs> you have a hazardous business. You're uh, shooting the game from an area where there is no protective glass. Have you ever uh, been injured? Uh, yeah, I was injured pretty badly last year at uh, Madison Square Garden. Um, it's a little bit more dangerous there uh, because you stand at the boards. Here at the Coliseum, you sit down, and the only thing exposed is your face, um, which, is <laughs> which could be trouble, too. But uh, uh, at the garden, I was hit in the back by one of the Boston Bruins, uh, and it knocked the wind out of me. And uh, I, as I rolled around on the ground, the first thing that I saw above me was uh, Leon Stickle and a couple of the Ranger players. and. Leon Stickle, uh, the linesman. The linesman, right? Asked me. Uh, he wanted to know if the, uh, the. He said the girl in the front row wanted to know if our date was still on for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's uh, they had to take me out on that one. But okay, we'll be back with Bruce Bennett, the Islander photographer, in just a moment. Stan Fischler here at Nassau Coliseum, a 2-2 tie at the end of the second period. My guest. Bruce Bennett, Islander photographer. Bruce, uh, Carol Vadney of the Rangers once gave you a little bit of grief with his trying to clear the puck. What happened? Uh, Carol always had a habit of hitting the photographers or aiming for them, we thought. And uh, it was the way he would circle around the back of the net and look to clear the puck. He would always pick, up a, pick off a few photographers each season. So at last year's Ranger Christmas party, we took him aside and asked him, uh, and told him that the photographers wanted to see him for a moment, and we took him into the penalty box. And we explained that we were going to take a, we were each going to take a turn skating around behind the net and aiming the puck at him. And he laughed and explained that uh, he never meant to do that and he hated when that happened. But uh, he's been pretty good since uh, since we pointed it out to him. He's only hit us about six or seven times. Because he's been benched. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of your pictures, Bruce. 
Yeah, this one is uh, Dave Maloney. He's always expressive, uh, talking with tonight's referee, Wally Harris. Um, he's terrific with the expressions. Okay, let's get right to the next one. Okay, this one, uh, this one I call chain reaction. Uh, this is just one of the humorous things that happens during hockey, things that, quite frankly, you don't even know until you, uh, until you look at the negatives. You never know what you've got. One more. Okay, this is a typical Islander celebration shot. I was just amazed at how many gloves we could get in one photograph. This looked like a, an advertisement for Coho. <laughs> Let's see another one. Uh, this shot, I think a lot of people are recognized. I think this is one of my most, uh, most published photographs. How many times has this been published? This has been published 14 or 15 times. In case some of the fans may not be aware, that is the Stanley Cup Winning goal, 1980, Bob Nystrom and uh, Lon Henning in the picture. Mel Bridgman, I believe Bob Daly of the Flyers. Now, where were you focusing during that sudden death overtime? I was just trying to stay, uh, stay with the puck as much as possible. Uh, we just followed the play right in, and uh, sure enough, they scored. I was as surprised as anybody else, and I didn't know what I had on film until that, until that time. Bruce, we're going to have to go now. I want you to come back and show us more photos. That was Bruce Bennett, the Islander photographer, coming up next. Eddie Westfall and highlights of the second period.